get rated R in this bitch. Oh, okay. I'm Brittany. I'm Brad. And we are, I guess, getting rated R in this <laughs> bitch. Before we start, make sure to click that red button down below to subscribe. And also hit that little bell if you want to stay up to date with all that we are releasing. So, I mean, from that introduction, I'm sure you can tell a little bit about what we're doing today. Yes, we're going to be talking about books that make us hot and bothered. Ooh. Ooh. These are the perfect books to either read or listen to right before you do it. Or get in the bath. <laughs> or <laughs> eat a sandwich. Yes. Or just do whatever makes you feel good about yourself. Mm-hmm. I guess. So let's dig in. Yes. <laughs> let's do it. I'm, well, not... No, 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 not it. Not it. Not it. It! So we're going to go over three books each about what we think get us hot and bothered. And let's go. Oh my gosh, you go first. Okay, me. So my <laughs> first book that gets me hot and bothered is On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. Now wait, hold up a second. I thought you didn't enjoy this book no 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 no. i loved it oh you did 100 oh, this is one of my favorite little romance books it's not an erotical was, an erotical it's not an erotical that's a new genre <laughs> like right well, now they are on an island yes a tropical <laughs> erotical here we go so it's not an erotica but it's a romance story mm -hmm. and it is about a young teacher who was hired to be a tutor for a, a young man and they are going on vacation together. So the family invites her on vacation with them to tutor their son. This sounds like a recipe for disaster. It is. It's very controversial. Uh -huh. So then the tutor and the son go flying in this private plane because oh. they arrive late. They arrive to the vacation late and the plane crashes on an island. So they're there together? So they're there together. It's the only two people on the island, this woman and this young man. And they're there for years oh my god and so throughout the years you kind of they develop a relationship and you see this young man become a real man is that what gets you hot yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah because he's like this more mature man but the controversy comes back when they get saved and they have to face society mm, so now oh. they're in love but now society is like, you're a teacher, number one. And number two, he was 16 years old or 17 years old when you were with him. But they've been gone for years. But they were gone for years. And they didn't start having sex, you know, S-E-X until he was you 18. You already said it. I just, I was like, what? 18. <laughs> until he was 18. So they didn't have sex until he was 18. Okay. So, but then he was like, he was like saving her from like the island. And sharks. And sharks. Not really. I don't think so. <laughs> but like he, he protected her and he, and she just fell in love. But the hottest scenes were when she was watching him. You're drooling. Like wipe your mouth to married men. He, she was watching him. Okay. Do his thing. And she was like, oh my God, I shouldn't be watching. I shouldn't be watching. I shouldn't be watching. And that was the hottest scene for me. I, lo oh I loved my it. God. I loved it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And then he would watch her and then they were like, but we can't, but we can't. It was so hot. That sounds erotical. Definitely read the book. Listen to the, I listened to the audiobook. I can't remember the narrator, but it was phenomenal. Very controversial, but I would love to hear everyone's thoughts. Okay. All right. He was 18. Okay. And okay. You, and you know, I love a good student teacher romance. Yes. That is what my next point was going to be is that that is your obsession. Yes. College age. Yeah, college age. Well... That kicks things off nicely mm -hmm. with controversy. Mm -hmm. So what's your first book? My first book is Lucky Suit by Lauren Blakely. Ooh. We listened to this one a couple years ago mm -hmm. and I thought it was cute. Is this with Zachary Weber? Yes, it is. Oh my God. And Andy Arndt are the two narrators. Oh my God, I love them. So this is a cute kind of frustrating book, but it's like more flirty than it is like erotica. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like not erotica, but it's still like cute and you just like root for these people and I don't know I just really like the cute things. It's like a little rom-com. It's like a little rom-com yeah and yeah. like those are always cute because it always is like it makes you think of the person you have and you're just like oh I love them so much. And there was a pesky little grandma too. There's a pesky little grandma which isn't there one in everything that happens in life. Mm -hmm. But yeah so she interferes and it's basically about these two people two young people they meet 
And then they're like, oh, you know what would be a funny joke is if we got married after like the first time meeting each other. So let's fly on a plane to Vegas and get married. And then let's come back and be like, we're married, but then we're not really married. But then they're, they are really married because they literally got married in Vegas. You are married. So really the, the cute part of it is just like their interactions when they're trying to figure out what to do mm -hmm. after this all happens. Mm -hmm. It's just a really cute book. It's short. Um, it's an easy listen and it's adorable. Yes. So I recommend it. Mm -hmm. So my second book is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Mm. This book. I mean. This book. It sounds lovely and ugly all the same time. All I'm saying is I am a sucker for tortured men. You, I don't know you have what a lot it is. of suckers. You have a lot of suckers. I don't know what it is. So this man has deep secrets that he doesn't talk about and he has a hard past that he's had to face. Mm -hmm. He meets this woman who tries to break his wall down. Oh my God. And so I love that about a romance. Yeah. I love it about a sexy, steamy novel. Yeah. We are mm -hmm. finding out more and more who this man is. And this is a story about Miles Archer, and he is phenomenally attractive. Mm -hmm. There's also like a TV show about it and a movie or whatnot. I'm, I'm obsessed. Let's just say by the end of the book, you really feel sad for Miles, and he's been through some trauma, but the love that he, he has with this female character, I don't want to give it too much away, but it's just so inspirational and romantic and sexy. Oh, mm -hmm. the sex scenes. Really? So good. I mean, you said tortured man soul, yes. and I was just like, where's mm -hmm. the sex? Yes. No, no, no. There's a lot of sex. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay. he basically uses, he doesn't use the woman, but he uses the idea of being a, a, a player Ooh. to kind of get over his trauma. Ooh. And so this woman's like, no, I'm not going to be just another one of your bodies. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. And it's just so good. I love a tortured man. Well, speaking of tortured men, my next book is My Week with the Bad Boy by Kennedy Fox. So that's just like a hot name right there. That's a hot, sexy name. Yeah. I'm already turned on. So this one is like pure erotica. Oh, yeah. Like it's just, it's smut. And so I know that we're doing like, we don't, we don't want to say mm -hmm. that like things are erotica, but this one's erotica. Yes. So mm -hmm. this one, I can't remember the plot of it. Well, she because... was a writer. She was a writer. Yeah. And but she... like, let's... Let's be, Do yeah. we really remember the plot? We because don't, we don't there care. was so much like hot scenes in this. They kept saying the word staff. Yeah. <laughs> like staff infection? No. What? Like, you know, like a staff. You just hold on oh, to it. Oh, yep. Yeah. You just hold on like to Gandalf it. Like Gandalf's staff. Yes. Except not. You, got, you just hold on like to it. Like it was like a hot man. Like, like play with the top. And you hold on to it. Is it okay to objectify fictional characters like this? 100%. Okay. All right. There are, I'm going with it. there I'm are minds. There are minds. Oh my gosh. It was a. It was such a good book. I don't, I don't really remember the plot of it because all I remember are the sex scenes. There was a motorcycle. There was a motorcycle. It was like serious. And he wasn't really a bad boy. No. Like he was a sweet, tender sweet, man. tender Meat, meat, meat. It was so good. Mm. It was so good. It, I can't find the audiobook version of it anymore. It's no. not available on audio mm -mm. Um, on Amazon, but, but the paperback is still on there. And I highly recommend if you can somehow find the audiobook to get the audiobook. Yes. Because it is. The, we got this with that small audiobook publishing company. Yes. Audio Love. Oh, oh my god, audio, audio. OMG. OMG Audio. Yes. 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 But I think they closed down. I think so too. So that's why you probably can't find the audio anymore. Yeah. Which is sad. It was such a good audiobook. Such a good audiobook. That mm. one was so Oh my god, yes. I loved it. So, my third and final book that got me hot and bothered. Uh-huh. is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. Was Archer's Voice sexy? Mm. He was a mute. Never mind. I love a good mute. You have so many things that you love. <laughs> I love teacher student relationships. I love a tortured man. I love a mute. Like, where's the line? You know, being a mute is real in right now. It's like he is a mute. He can't talk. He chooses not to talk. That's why he's a mute. Oh. So, he chooses not to talk. Yes. So he has been through this traumatic past. Another tortured man soul. <laughs> and he just, he's so romantic. And so this woman. He's so romantic. 
<laughs> and so this woman comes to his cabin or whatever and tries to break down his his wall wall <laughs> <laughs> I like walls. And so he, and he's like in his mind, his perspective, because you get a lot of his childhood perspective of what happened to him as a, ch as, as a child with the trauma. And then you also hear about the female characters. Do you notice I don't know any of the female, char female characters' names? Um. We will talk about that. <laughs> so the female character tries to like, you know, relate him to what she's experienced because someone close to her is deaf. So she knows sign language. And so he, he performs sign language and speaks through the American sign through with her. Oh. So it's really romantic. And it's interesting because when you're reading the book and you're, you are kind of listening to the audiobook, because I did listen to the audiobook with this, you are hearing the signs and you're reading, you're, you're reading what the sign is saying, but you feel him and her performing sign language. That is really different. That's really unique. And it's such a unique take on the rom, the romantic, um, I don't even know how you, it was, it was a drama. It was a romantic drama. There was no comedy about it, but it was so sexy because they were very intimate and they, there were no words, but there was touching. Do they sign while sex? That would be really hot, but I don't think so. I think oh, okay. they just grunt. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that makes what, sense. I mean, like, you usually grunt during that. So that's mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's mine. But the reason I don't care about the female characters is because, number one, I'm putting myself in their shoes. Oh, okay. So now, there are no female characters. There are anymore. no female characters in yeah. my eroticas and sexy books. Yep. So another thing is I was trying so hard to find another book that was LGBT, that was sexy and erotic. And there are many out there, but none that I've number one read. And number two, I didn't want to promote another one like Red, White, and Royal Blue. Yeah. We loved it. It's sexy. It's hot. Everyone knows it's sexy But and hot. everyone knows. Yep. Yeah. So we want to talk about something different. Yes. But there needs to be more LGBT, real romantic dramas mm -hmm. that are commercialized. Well, you know what needs to happen. What? You need to write them. That's, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Yes. Yes, it is. I tell truths here. Mm -hmm. So my next book is The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Oh, that's a new one. It one. is the one that I am currently in the middle of listening to. I have approximately four hours left <laughs> of this nine hour book. <laughs> and I got to tell you, mm -hmm. the beginning of this mother effing book. Oh my God. Is whew, like I fall in love with Seth and I don't want to be in a polygamous relationship. Mm. So basically the no, wise dry. story, mm. I can, I can tell this one. Sorry, my mouth is dry. I just love the name Seth. Also, we've been talking a lot about your favorite things today. Yep. I'm like Oprah. So anyway, The Wives is about, um, she doesn't have a name yet, okay. actually. Really? Her name is Thursday, currently. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know her name, but she's our main hate... character and we are in her head. I would hate to be the called Thursday. Uh, yeah, right. And she is the wife of Seth. She's the second wife, and he has three wives. Mm. So they are in a polygamous relationship. She has no idea what the other two women, what they look like, what their names are. They are just known by Monday and Tuesday. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so anyway, crazy stuff happens. She figures out who Monday is. She goes and befriends her, figures out that there are bruises on her. So she's like, not the man I love. The man I love would never hurt a fly. Mm. But... Monday has bruises. And then um, she also finds out that Tuesday's name is something and she follows her and gets kind of close with her in a different sort of way. And then Seth finds all this out and he freaks out and there's all kinds of like chaos and whatever. You need to listen to it. Anyway, the most important part is at the beginning when we are getting established with Thursday and Seth's relationship, mm -hmm. he comes in and it is seriously like she's, she is just 1950s housewife oh. there to please her man. Mm. It should be disgusting, but it's is hot. not. It is so good. And just like, it, it doesn't make any sense. You shouldn't like this. You shouldn't like this, but you do. <laughs> and it's so weird. It's, it really gets you in. Like, that is the hook. Like, it starts off, he comes home and it's like, okay, it's time to go. Like, mm. I don't even want dinner right now. You cook this beautiful meal. Let's go, you know, F. Well, no one really wants dinner before the, the deed. Okay, but she also described this dinner and I wanted this mother effing dinner. Oh. <laughs> it was a roast. Oh, more meat? More meat. Where is the meat? Did it have carrots and potatoes? I think so. I mean, what roast doesn't? 
Am mm, I right? That's true. What is true? <laughs> so they describe this roast and it sh- they just leave it on the table. Mm. It starts coagulating and all kinds of like stuff with the juices. Do and they- there's juices in the top. Ah! Oh, juices. <laughs> juices everywhere. Do they say the word coagulate? Yes. Oh, my that's God. How, that's why I used it. Oh, my God. I love the word coagulate. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird little word for them to use in this book, but they used it. Oh, my goodness. We also got the wives for our book of the month. Yes. Choice. So we got book of the month for this month, mm-hmm. uh, the wives, and then we also downloaded it. So we have it in both forms. I'm reading along with it as well as listening. So it is just a very wild ride Mm. and i have to say it is going to stick with me for many reasons oh i'm excited Mm -hmm. yeah i can't wait for you to listen to it Uh, you're gonna freak out you can keep the book though Uh, i don't want you to mess up the pages (laughs) that's true (laughs) so those are my three books okay whatever your three books yes and i think that this covers our episode yes So please, in the comments below, if you have any books that get you like really like sweaty and gross and sticky and just all the things that you shouldn't like but you do. Horny. Yep. Please leave them down below so that we can also experience them in all their greatness. Mm -hmm. And also follow along with us on our various social medias. We are on Twitter at Audio Shelf Me, Instagram at Audio Shelf Me, and Facebook at Audio Shelf. Mm -hmm. make sure you subscribe yes we need those subscribers yes you get such great content like this Mm -hmm. who doesn't want this so until next time bye. bye i hope my mom doesn't watch this one she will